What's up guys and welcome back. Today we have a very simple but still interesting topic about how you can actually monitor your Windows event logs with a Zabbix out of the box. And uh, for the sake of this video, I as usually have a Zabbix installed from the Docker. We can type Docker PS to verify that. So we have actually a Zabbix uh, 6.2 Alpha to version but don't worry if you have an older version of the Zabbix still event log monitoring is here since like I don't know since very long times ago and uh, you don't have to worry about that your version is not going to support it so for the monitoring the only thing that you actually need is having a Zabbix server which we do and if you if you don't have it I will link a video somewhere above uh, where we talk about how you can install the latest LTS version of the Zabbix Server 6.0. And also you need uh, Zabbix Agent installed on the Windows machine where you're actually going to be monitoring your event uh, event log, right? And if you don't have Zabbix Agent, it's pretty simple. Just go to the Zabbix.com, uh, click the download button, Zabbix Agents, uh, Windows, any... AMD or Intel, then the version OpenSSL MSI, and it's basically just click, 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 and uh, it's done. Again, if you don't have it, I will link a video one more time how you can install an agent on a Windows machine. And then basically all the monitoring <clears throat> happens through just one item. And this item is Windows specific item for the Zabbix agent. And the key is exactly as you would want to uh, you would want to see it is just event log. But uh, the confusing part here is that it has quite a lot of parameters. So first of all, to understand like how you can actually configure um, I don't know any event log monitoring, you actually need to open your Windows event viewer and then understand, so what exactly do you want to monitor? From where this log will gonna come from? Will it be application or security or a setup system, forward events and so ever? Uh, <clears throat> let's take as example the security. So maybe you want to monitor when somebody uh, logs into their desktop or, or the server or maybe fails to log in providing the wrong password or something like that. So first of all, you need to find uh, you need to find the event uh, which is happening and which you want to monitor with your Zabbix to actually be notified when this event happens again. And then we can just double click on it and see quite a lot of information like the privilege subject. Uh, but the most important part for us is the source, uh, event ID. And uh, well, also it could be a level, but uh, depends. So when we know all this information, this will help us to actually fill in uh, the parameters for our event log monitoring item. So just for the sake of uh, testing, we can go in the front end to, to the configuration hosts. And I've already have uh, <clears throat> Windows uh, YouTube host created, but let's create a new one. Uh, let's call it Windows event log monitoring uh, groups, Windows servers like this, yeah, lowercase, uh, interfaces of my Windows machine 56.1. And that's basically it. So we added a host. Then inside this host, we need to create uh, an item. Normally, we would, of course, use the template. But again, for the sake of testing, this should be fine. So let's call this uh, uh, which, 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 which event log line we plan to monitor. Um, <clears throat> special privilege assigned to the new logout. So, how did success? This one is about special logons, right? So let's let's say we want to monitor this one. And uh, what do we type? Special access logon. Type is Zabbix agent again because all the event log monitoring happens through the Zabbix agent. And then we can just click here, select and search for um, event log. It's not here. <clears throat> yeah, probably because it's Windows specific. So we can just go to documentation, copy paste this 
and copy paste it here in the key. And basically it's then we need to start filling this up. So event log remains, this is identifier, which means that we'll be monitoring event log uh, on our Windows machine. Then the name and regular expression, the first part, if you see these curly brackets, it means that this parameter is optional. We can delete it, but of course there will be some consequences for that. Name is mandatory. And in our case, if we're monitoring security log, then the name is security. Then the regular expression, so we can check in our documentation what the regular expression is, describing the required pattern. And we can check some examples. Uh, we don't have any examples here for this, but basically what it will be, so probably from our general, general section, if we match something based on the regular expression and we can use uh, regex 101 to actually build some sort of the string if we want to match it um, let's say for this message we can uh, I don't know let's say security security ID system right uppercase so if it's going to match this, we can use this as a regular expression, then uh, this Abex agent will actually actually collect this event log line and uh, collect it and store it as a value. So we won't use this right now. So we just skip it and to skip it, what do we have to do? We can just delete this regex parameter, right? The next one is severity. And again, severity comes from the information about the event that we want to monitor and the, its level and the level is information and you can check for the Windows uh, event levels and the levels are critical error warning information and verbose. Um, <clears throat> so again, depends on your needs. If depends on what exactly you are filtering. So if you are just using security yeah, we could do it like this. So let's say we, we are monitoring critical uh, events of our event log, then uh, security, severity will be critical. Source, again, we can see it here in our information about the event. The source is Microsoft Windows Security Auditing, but we are monitoring only critical and doesn't matter from what source it comes. So again, this is optional parameter, we can delete it. And event ID, well, of course, every specific event ID matches for some specific uh, thing that is happening on your Windows machine. So let's say 4672, we can just uh, Google uh, Windows event ID, and like this and we can see what it actually means. So if let's say you you need to monitor something which has not happened yet on your Windows machine, then you can just Google for all potential uh, Windows event ID codes and decide so which one do you want to monitor. Uh, when this is done, the next one, so yeah, event ID. Uh, we won't be using this because again, remember our case is very simple. We're monitoring security uh, um, event log for all the critical problems. Max lines per second, this is just a <clears throat> configuration parameter and the default value is already stored in the agent config file. So I would not suggest to um, change this in any way. And the last parameter is mode and mode is pretty simple. So all is a default skip means that let's say if something happened with our agent, and it restarted or something, something else happened, it can potentially resend all the event logs that were already previously sent uh, to the Zabbix server. And to avoid that, we need to actually specify this mode skip which means that if the event log was sent once in any circumstances, it's not going to be sent again, right? Easy as that. 
And that's basically it. So host interface remains. Type of information, rem remember, it's always a log. It's not a, an American sign, not a flow character text. It's a log because we're monitoring event log. Update interval specifies something around like 10 seconds because we want to constantly check our event log and what will happen if we will mark this as uh, 30 minutes. And during these 30 minutes, let's say we could have 50 uh, critical error lines in the event log. So after the check of the item after 30 minutes it will actually send all these 50 alerts right so no <clears throat> no reason here to specify uh long update intervals so let's make it better 10 seconds and that's it just add an item and uh right now nothing is gonna be visible under the monitoring latest data simply because i don't have these uh, critical events happening right now in the security but this is the simple logic how you can add uh whatever event log monitoring items you want may those be for the system then you just change the name <coughs> of the event log to the system or let's say application or setup or forward events or whatever else and uh, then decide whether you want to monitor based on the severity critical maybe you don't want to use a severity at all you just want to monitor some um event ids right and let's say you want to monitor for 70 40 and uh, 10016 then what you need to do is open again documentation check event id is one two three from from the end so go back to the front end uh, one two three here and since it is a regular expression then we mark this in the format of the regular expression so seven zero four zero 7040 or the second option 10016 10016 and in this case doesn't matter what will be the severity doesn't matter what will be the source but if event id is going to match this one or this one then that line will be collected <clears throat> collected in the Zabbix server for analyzing. You will see that in the monitoring latest data. And of course, it also means that you can create triggers on top of it to actually be notified when this critical event, uh, event log line appears in your Windows event log. So that's about it for today. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you later. Goodbye.